Today we are going to learn the most important component of a sentence, which is phrase. Why do we need phrase? It is to construct a variety of a sentence. So first we are going to learn what are phrases. Phrases are group of related words within a sentence. Phrases are group of words. They do not have subject and verb. They do not express a complete idea. A complete idea is a keyword. See example, I built a beautiful home. Here in the sentence, see the underlined word, a beautiful home. Does it have a subject? No. Does it have a verb? No. Does it express a complete thought or idea? No. So what does it? It is group of words? Yes. So it is group of words. So a beautiful home is a phrase. I built a beautiful home in this sentence. A beautiful home is a phrase. She is laughing at a joker. Here she is subject, is laughing his verb at a joker. At a joker, does it have a subject? No. Does it have a verb? No. Does it have a group of words? Yes. So it is phrase. At a joker is a phrase. A phrase can be found at the beginning, middle or end of a sentence. Thus, a phrase may have a meaning, but it does not convey a complete thought or a complete idea. There are five kinds of phrases. Phrases act as in parts of speech. Noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, verb phrase, prepositional phrase. First we are going to look at noun phrase. What is noun phrase? Noun phrase acts like a noun in the sentence. It contains a noun and other associated words which modifies the noun. For example, a woman in the window shouted for help. In this sentence, a woman is noun and it's modified in the window. See, in the window, it's modified noun. She bought a decent black shirt. A shirt is noun. A decent black shirt is modified shirt. A decent black shirt is noun phrase. In first sentence, a woman in the window is a noun phrase. Noun phrase has followed by this pattern. Determiners plus noun or modifiers plus noun. Determiners plus modifiers plus noun. See, determiners the noun child. Modifiers tall noun child. Determiners the modifiers tall noun child. Second is adjective phrase. Adjective phrase is one or more words work together to give more information about an adjective. Adjective phrase modifies nouns. For example, I am very happy with his work. A happy is adjective. I am very happy with his work in the sentence very happy is adjective phrase. The cost of the car is way too high. Here high is adjective and it just describe way too way too high is adjective phrase third is adverb phrase one or more words work together to give more information about an adverb adverb phrase modifies a verb for example they ran really fast here fast is adverb really fast is adverb phrase it just modify verb really. He drank the milkshake much quicker. Quicker is adverb, much quicker is adverb phrase. Next is verb phrase. A verb phrase is a group of main verb and helping verb within a sentence. For example, she has finished her work. In the sentence, has is Helping verb, finished is main verb. Has finished is a verb phrase. 
Second example, you should study for exam. Should is helping verb. Study is main verb. Should study is verb phrase. Verb phrase follows this pattern. Helping verb plus main verb. Helping verb is has plus main verb is finished. Or helping verb plus modifier plus main verb. Helping verb is has plus not plus modifier plus finished. Last is prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and ends with noun or pronoun. It gives information about time, location, position or condition. See the example. He is sleeping on the carpet. As we have seen here, a prepositional phrase begins with a preposition. The on is a preposition. On the carpet is a prepositional phrase. He always speaks in loud voice. In the sentence, in is preposition, loud voice. In loud voice is a prepositional phrase. Thank you.